Hey everyone, this is Tanika Renee, and you're watching MobileMediaTV.com. This is the Entrepreneur's Choice Mogul Media TV. Today we're here with another female entrepreneur. Introduce yourself. Hello everybody, I'm Tanika Renee. And what does Miss Tanika Renee do? Um, well, first of all, well I first started off as a model. Um, that's one part of Tanika Renee. The other part is fitness and health and nutrition. I'm a holistic nutritionist and I specialize in Ayurveda. Ayurveda is an ancient Indian medicine. Hello. What is it again? It's an ancient Indian medicine. Very unique. And then you... Oh, and I also play football. Ah, yeah. you left that out. Yeah, I'm a professional football player. Um, yeah, and you know, with the whole fitness and nutrition thing, I just wrote my first book. It's a fitness book. It's called The Complete Guide to a Sexier Backside. It teaches women how to get their butt in shape, toned and tight and sexy. What made you sign up for a very grueling sport? Um, I've always been very competitive. When I first heard about the league, I did not know it was full tackle. Basically, I didn't do my research. I just was like, oh, you know, girls playing football, some new league coming out. So I was like, okay, I can do this. I'm gonna be the best at it. So I went out, I tried out, and they're like, you're gonna be doing full attack of football. And at first, I was a little nervous. I was, I wasn't nervous about um, like injuring myself. I was more nervous about am I gonna be able to catch on to this sport? This sport. My background is basketball. I ran track. I played basketball. I did a little soccer and baseball, but I never played football. So it was just like, okay, can I do this? And I can do it. I love it. I love hitting girls. You're a brave woman. <laughs> and what is a training session like? Um, our training is very, very intense. Um, we train as a team two to three times a week. Our coach, his name is Chandler Brown. Um, he was a professional football player. Um, like he puts us through NFL training. We're doing conditioning, speed, agility. We also train on our own. I work out, I um, go to the gym on my own, and then, you know, the linemen, we might do our own, have our own special teams and then go out and train ourselves. Have you gotten injured while playing? Yes. Um, I, in a game, like, it wasn't really anything bad. I just pulled my groin muscle. I pulled, um, well, I strained my hamstring. Nothing serious. Practice, I broke my finger, which is still broken. And I'm not going to do anything about it until after the first game. I'm probably going to have to get it rebroken and set again. Um, right now, I have a swollen ankle. Um, yeah. It's typical football injuries, you know. Girls get torn ACLs, um, hip flexor injuries, it's typical football injuries. Oh man. And you seem like a very well-rounded entrepreneur. What made you write a book? Um, I decided to write a book. It all started, I went and I, was, I went to a, a middle school and um, it's called Women on the Moon. Basically the goal to speak to children. And I felt like, you know what, I'm not a good role model. I just felt like I wasn't doing doing enough positive stuff. So I was like, what can I do? What can I do that's still in my lane, still in, in you know my focus? What can I do to actually push kids to want to achieve more? And I'm like, there's not that many young authors out. So I figured, let me write a book. I'm going to write a book and, um, you know, it's something that I know about. But I think teenagers and college students will actually pick it up and read it. What was some of the sacrifices you made to become successful? Um, I had to sacrifice relationships, um, free time. I have I, my life is like 
is very, 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 very stressful. I'm going back and forth to Philly. Um, I'm in Philly most of the time, and when I'm in Philly, I'm training. Um, I come back to New York because I love New York, and you know, I might go to some events and work, but it's like I have no time for myself. Um, I'm always going. Um, you know, it's it's like I'm getting pulled in many directions. So that's, that's one of the sacrifices that I made. I'm also sacrificing. I'm, I'm at the, the time where I might want to settle down and have a family, and, but I'm pushing hard with my career. So I want to be structured. How do fans can reach out to you? Um, if any fans want to reach out to me, you can find me on my website, which is TanikaRenee.com. That's T-A-N-Y-K-A-R-E-N. Also on Twitter, Jock and Tanika, J O C K I N T A N Y K A. Um, Facebook, Tanika Renee. You no, know, um, and also on the LFL website, LFLUS.com. What made you do Playboy magazine? What was your reasons behind that? Well, I started modeling when I was 13. Um, you know, I did it all from commercial commercial modeling, which was like Polaroid, Swiffer, to high fashion over in Europe. And I'm like, okay, you know, my body's changed now, and um, I'm doing like what you would call glamour, like the sexier stuff. And I'm the type of person I always want to do be the best at whatever I do. And I feel like in terms of glamour and like being sexy, it's, you can't get any better than Playboy. And like I felt honored to be a, a black woman in Playboy. There's not that many black women who can say that they've been in Playboy, and I'm one of them. And what was the response when you did that? Um, it was a lot of mixed responses. Um, you know, at that time I was in a relationship. Um, he was very upset. Um, you know, um, then I had like, my family. They were, they were happy, they supported me, friends supported me. Those are mixed responses. What's important to you right now? Um, what's important to me right now is bettering myself um, every day. Um, but I'm not talking about financially, I'm just like become a better person. I just want to become a better person every day. Um, get closer to God, I'm very religious. Um, and build a, a stronger bond with my family. I, I grew up, I wasn't close to my family at all. So I'm getting to know them, getting to know like my sisters and you know, my different families. So. Are you involved in any charity work? Yes, um, I work with the Urban Girl Squad, which is um, a group out here in New York City, and we volunteer um, once a month. We go throughout the New York City volunteer and we offer services. Um, I also, I volunteer with the Philadelphia Passion. Um, I have products that are coming out and to receive those ones will also be going towards different charities. So I like, I try to give back. Like I'm so, I've been so blessed in so many different ways and I want to give back and spread my blessings. Would you consider yourself an inspiration to young females? Um, um, I, I've been told that I am. Um, I try to be as positive as, as possible because I feel like today there's not a lot of, of um, positive females out there. Um, you know, I look at my little sisters and they want to be, and I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with Nicki Minaj, but like, you know, they feel like that's as high as they can go. I'm starting school in February and I'm, I'm trying to finish up to become a doctor and, like, and I'm doing that not only for myself but also so when I have kids and my sister, they, they know, okay, I can be a doctor. And where I come from, you know, girls, they just want to get pregnant and have a family and that's it. But it's, you can be whatever you want to be, you know, you can be president if you want. You can do whatever you want and I want to show girls that you can do that. I'm a supporter for women's movement. What is an entrepreneur and what it means to you? Um, 
An entrepreneur is a leader, is someone who can go out there and run a business and, and, and you know, they, they have dreams, they're dreamers. They go out there, they follow their dreams, they do whatever it takes, you know, and they accomplish great things. And that's an entrepreneur.